Well, we've all heard that Twilight speech in which a character freshly graduated starts speaking about how they always asked since they're young what they want to be in the future and they just don't know, right? Well, in reality, many times we do know what we want. It's just not realistic. Hi, I'm Mar, and today I'm going to talk about how to choose whether to take your passion to the professional level. When we picture a dream job, we find ourselves struggling. So that's why we're forced to change our dream job into the so-called society's dream job. When in reality, it's not what we wanted, and we end up being 50 and hate having to wake up each day to head to that work that once seemed perfect for us. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to condemn the system. In fact, I get it. Sometimes it's better to choose security over stressing so much to the point of going bald. <laughs> when I was young, I wanted to be a ballerina. Oh. <laughs> I still want to be it. But now when they ask me, I just say I want to do maths. I want to be a mathematician. You may, you may ask, why the change? Because it was not realistic. I mean, yeah, I was pretty good, but I was often told that there were people who were much better than me and that life as a dancer was really hard. So I gave up that job. At first, I was devastated. I was really hurt. But now that I think of it, it is completely fine. I mean, I'm still a dancer. I still do what I like and I still feel that joy when I'm dancing. It's not a problem. But it's not just me who has had to face this dilemma. A lot of teenagers have also thought that they were never good enough without realizing that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But here's the thing. Just because your passion doesn't become your job means you have failed. No. I mean, not because I'm not a dancer or a professional ballerina makes me less of a dancer. I mean, I can dance. You can see the performance next. <laughs> but people tend to think that not exerting that dream profession means a betrayal to yourself, to your personal being. But let me ask you this. Are you seriously doing what you wanted to do when you were 10 years old? <laughs> Does that make you less happy? Are you not happy with yourself? According to a study, uh, to a study by Gallup poll, almost 55% of the population identifies themselves with their job. Who are you? Oh, I'm just an engineer. Okay, but what else? <laughs> but you have to think about that your job doesn't define you. You are so much more than that. You're a person. You don't have to always stick to one job. Not because I'm an engineer now means I'm going to be an engineer in 50 years. Maybe I end up being a dance teacher. <laughs> Who knows? But sometimes taking your job to the professional level might ruin that passion you had. When you dream of being the best in your field, the best in your career, when you, go, when you aspire to have a certain level of success, then once you get there, you lose the motivation to keep going. What next? What are you going to do? Not because I wasn't a ballerina means I less, I'm less of a dancer. My goal isn't to be like Marianela Núñez or Svetlana Zakharova. No, it is to get in this stage and to convey the emotions I feel when I'm dancing. Moreover, many times we imagined those jobs being perfect end up not being as perfect as we thought, causing one in three graduates to resent their chosen studies. <laughs> but yeah, I know a lot of people will be like, Okay, man, but I still want to do what I, what I love. Yeah, that's why I prepared a list of, of five bullet points to help you decide to choose or not to choose that job. But remember, if you love doing something, you'll always find a way to practice it, even if it's not paying your bills. <laughs> Here's the thing. 
you need to think about if you have the talent. Am I talented enough? Well, I want to say the difference between talent and perseverance, though. Talent is the natural ability you have to do something. Well, perseverance is what you build with consistency, with hard work. I mean, yeah, talent alone would, won't guarantee success. But if you don't have the talent, maybe it's time to reconsider that choice. Next, the mental strength. Are you mentally strong enough? Because, for example, in the dance field, a lot of dancers face a lot of pressure. The pressure while being a dancer is immaculate. You have to act a certain way, you have to look a certain way. But if you can't cope with that stress, maybe it's time to rethink being that thing. The age. In some fields, age is definitely a factor. For instance, the modeling industry. If you're not between 15 and 30 years old, what are you even doing here? I mean, yeah, we know some models like Naomi Campbell or Heidi Klum who are past that age range, but they were, they were famous, they became famous when they were between that ages. So if you're past that range, maybe think of it. <laughs> the job market. What's the demand for your job? What's the current demand? Like, for example, the mathematics field is now growing. That's why I want to be a mathematician. But the dance field isn't going that well. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not going to be a dancer, of course. And finally, the lifestyle. Will you be OK with the lifestyle that comes with your job, with that dream profession? Will you be OK with not that much of holidays or not enough salary, will you be okay with that? Will you be okay with the fact that maybe you can't come back once you get pregnant? After taking these things into account, if you have the talent, if you have the perseverance, if you have the mental strength, then go for it, but choose wisely. And remember, your job doesn't define you. You are so much more than that. And in the end, you have to choose a job that makes you happy and gives you free time so that you can do all that passions that you didn't get to take to the professional level. Thank you.